Okay, so well, this video is gonna cover um, lab one, program one of programming with persistent persistent data. Okay, so basically, we're just gonna keep it easy now. We're just gonna um, do everything in the in the main function. Okay, so um, basically, this exercise you have to copy one file from another one. Um, to use and see. Okay. So what we're gonna do now first, we're gonna have to create two file pointers, okay? So we're gonna call it FP1 and FP2. FP1 is going to um FP1 is going to be the file we're gonna read from, and FP2 is gonna be the file we're gonna read it to, okay? Which so the it's gonna be the file where we write it to, okay? And then we're just gonna create a character called C, okay? Just to keep it easy. So what we do is we just call FP1 is equal to F open and then so you need two parameters with the F open. You need the location of it or the name of it, okay? Which is this one here, numlet, this one here. And then the second parameter is gonna be a or argument is going to be a the um, is going to be what permissions we have with our file, okay? So R is for reading, so we just need to read that file, so R will be enough, okay? Then we just check if FP1 is nil, okay? Because we might like we might just write for you know some reason, which actually that's wrong. So well, well, let's just try like that way, okay? So we have we're gonna just gonna test if FP1 is equal to nil. So if we can't find the file, then it, we're just gonna print can't open the first file, okay? If it does, if it's not null, okay, we're just gonna open the second file and same thing, but we're just gonna give it writer permissions, okay, just here. And uh, that here is just a just the screen how the way coaches. Anyway, then we're gonna check if FP two is null, okay. So uh, if it's null, it's gonna print can't open the second file, and it's gonna close FP one. Else is gonna we're just gonna go through a, a while loop, okay. So that else means that FP one and FP two are opened, okay. Therefore, what it means is that now. Uh, we're gonna go through the while loop. We normally use loop, okay, to go through every single character, okay? So as I said before, we have a character here called C. So um, basically, we just have a here a while loop. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the, we just have extra parentheses. So we have a while loop that is gonna assign C is equal. That's not comparing, because as you can see, okay, that's just one equals. So it's just assigning a F, F get C, FP1. So that function, what it does is, it's gonna guess a, a every single character one by one from FP1, and that's what the function does. That's what the function returns, and it's gonna assign it to C. Okay, so every single time it goes, like the first time, it's gonna get the first character. While it finishes, it's gonna go up again. Second character is assigned to C. Okay, and that's how it goes. Um, and then we just check if C is the end of the file because there's like a special character which is the end of the file, uh, that's just at the very end. So if C is the, is the end of the file, we're just gonna break this if statement and we're gonna break the lip, the loop, okay? Uh, but if it's not, because that if, if condition hasn't been applied, uh, we're gonna get the function f, uh, f put C. That's another function that has uh, two arguments. The first one is gonna be the character we want to post and uh, what file we want to copy to. This one, okay. So as you can see, we're using FP one here to read because we gave it written permissions, and FP two here because we gave it written permissions, okay. So that's the point, okay. Um, and F close FP one and F close FP two. That's just to close those two files because it's good practice. And then we're just gonna print the file has been successfully copied, okay. And then we run zero for the main. So that's about it, okay. So let's just try to run it and see what it says. Program one, um. Okay, it's compiling. Ooh, that's just warnings. Okay, so don't worry about them. Can't open the first file. Okay, that's that's the that's the output we're getting. We're getting. So that's here. That means that the FP one was null. Why was that null? Okay, well it's just because it changed the location of it just to make this video. Um, so now we save this, right? Let's just run it again. Let me compile it. Run it. Can't open the second file. Oh, same problem. We just need to. Um change the location of it, let's just create a new folder, so that's why. Let's compile it again, I'm running, file has been successfully copied, so as you can see, this is uploading this because it's been changed, okay, that's just the iCloud thing, but now, we have this file here, and 
this file here okay so just for the sake of isn't it let me just put here curly okay so if I save this right that's the one it's gonna copy and this is the one it's gonna have to copy to okay then num let new if I run it again that has been copies in the new one okay so that's it okay so that's program one okay um I'm gonna be uploading program by program for program with persistent persistent data to this channel okay so I'm just gonna name it on I don't know I'll just see what I do I suppose <laughs> anyway oh what oh what's about